Hello and welcome to the Hi. Super Chat Catch Up for Golem, Lord of Ring. The Lord dream. of Ring Golem. The most shocking of EFAB streams where it took place on a completely different day at a completely different time. And yet, people were interested in watching like a little goblin man die over and over again. You gotta give the people what they want, you know? Uh, mm. That's what they want. <laughs> so! It was, it was one of the most fun things to watch. I, I laughed a great deal. That was a very enjoyable afternoon. It was fun. Or morning. Morning. I don't know why I said afternoon. Probably morning. It was a very enjoyable yeah. morning for me. It was fun in the sense that it'll have like me, Metal, and Az all seeing parts of each other's playthroughs that we may not have seen or, you know, watching fun as parts of our own again, but then also having yourself, uh, Fringy, and Theo being almost completely unaware. So just seeing this stuff in the wild for the first time, just wow, you know, what a game. And can't wait for the sequel. Um, but yeah, we're going to check out the uh, the old messages we've been sent, the old super chats, and uh, going to give them the answer, Rooney. So we'll start with a Tuesday EFAP, Nani. It's something strange, but is. Gollum was worth it. Variety is a spice of life. Gollum isn't afraid to buck social trends and conventions. No, he's very much into the whole, you know, he's progressive. He likes to provide some new experiences, explore new areas of life, and look what he provided. And we can only wish for a sequel. Maybe we won't get it. Who knows? I imagine that dev team are not going to look forward to announcing their next project, especially if it's anything like the first one. <laughs> do you think they'll say? Do you think they'll release the apology again. before the game next time? Uh, sorry, <laughs> We're sorry for how bad this thing is. It's like no one's played it yet. They're like, shut up. We know. You survived, but at what cost? True. The soul was was uh, torn away just a bit from each of us. At least the ones who played it. Uh, hi, my name is Gay Actor Michael Douglas. Between Snake Man and Snake Man .exe, whose design do you prefer? Okay, who's Snake, Snake Man? Man? Or Snake Man .exe. Dot .exe. Uh, Snake Man. Uh, like a Digimon or something. Hmm. MMK MMKB fandom snakeman.exe Here's snakeman.exe Let me get snakeman uh Yeah, I'm seeing So these are I don't know, yeah, I guess that one's snakeman. Which one's yeah, I've got snake you you post snakeman, I'll I'll post exe. This is what I'm finding for snakeman. Uh I don't know if it's accurate. I think that that's what I was getting to. Let me copy. It would be snakeman.exe, I assume. Yeah, mine was having some tism. That's what I got. Yeah, okay. So, which do we prefer? Um... So, let's see. The first snake man really is like a snake man. He's a dude, he's got a little gun on his arm like Mega Man, hmm. but he's sort of like a snake, but not really, but kind of. You know, he's Let's got the out. head and the tail, but like the limbs and everything. The, the second one is definitely more snaky. There are legs going little, on there, like aren't a they? Cobra. He's a cobra coming out of a jar, you know? Yeah. And at least, and his yeah, arms are even snake-like uh... as well. The the second one, the AXA one, the one coming out of the, the pot. Yeah, I prefer that one. Yeah, I like the second one as well. I it's like more creative. Um, yeah, it does seem more creative. Yeah, he's keeping with that sneaky theme. Um, all right. You didn't ask for this. You didn't want this. But all of a sudden, you're a golem. Yeah. I uh, actually played as golem throughout the entire adventure. It's crazy. Role playing. Um, are you gonna, well, are you gonna play through again and go to, and get the Smeagol endings? Oh well, Metal did, so I sold all that. It's all good. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. It'd be cool if there was a third option, some other personality, like in Moon Knight, like a murderous one that we don't know about. Just... It's weird. I was I was actually just thinking about Moon Knight earlier okay. and how that show had potential, but it just disappeared and no one ever talks about it. Nobody mm. talks about it. Everybody it was really so excited just... when it was coming out, but nobody talks about it. Nobody cares about it. It's just 
dropped off the face of the planet. Do we know if this is uh, we get in season two for that? Uh, I think so. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, y'all here for my three a.m. duty makes life easier. There you go. There were plenty of people who were like, "Wow, this is the perfect time for an EFAP. And then yeah, there have been shit tons being like, "What?" The whole world is America. Yeah, there's way more than just you guys taking up everything, ruining it. Um, hello. Oh, okay, there's another one. My name is gay actor Michael Douglas. Between the designs of mm -hmm. Starman and Starman.exe, which do y'all prefer? I'll do the second if you grab the first. I'll grab Starman. I assume these are all from Mega Man. I don't know. I think they're Mega Man, yeah. Hmm. Oh, there he is. This, this one's very much exactly what you might expect of just... Aw, oh, man. He's a man. He's got some stars. And this is Starman.exe. Uh, I will say, I don't like either of these. Um, I don't like either of these either. Mm -hmm. But if I was to pick one, again, I'd probably go for the EXE one. Um... I think that giant star, like on his torso, in the the first one, I don't know, man. Just Bit too it's, on the nose. It's, it's huge. It is huge. This is a silly factor to it, I guess. Yeah. Well, the there second is, one is strange like, too. It is I strange, think, but with that first I, one, I'm thinking like, how does if he moves his head left to right, how does that even work? It looks like the star would block. And yet, Never I still to. think I'm gonna go with the first. <laughs> I still th uh, the the second one almost seems like the star is tacked on in it. I don't know something about it looks like a weird alien kind of creature, but the first one really is like a star man. Yeah, but is that is that what we're appealing to? Is like oh it 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 like what what it, what is what makes the design that it best captures the namesake or that it's the best design in and of itself? Well, I think that applies to it to a degree, like the like the snake man from earlier. Um, yeah, the, the no, second I mean, one doesn't I, just there's not like a the second one just doesn't say star to me, you know, like there's a star in the tail and he's got that thing on his forehead. Uh, but, could you, but like could the, you make the argument that the, the sort of shape for the head is meant to be like evocative of a shooting star? I don't care why Starman gets to get away with saying like, oh, this is good for stars. Like this is also tacked on. They literally just they put stars on him. Yeah, exactly. Oh, just I, put think, stars on him. I think like the I knee think pads that... and the the elbow is like that looks all right and on the yeah, but the, problem the is helmet that looks like a flight like that's the thing that's yeah that's the weak off, part well, but that's even the knees and elbows problem. like they don't seem practical they're just stars yeah like, i think um i definitely think the exe one the only thing about his outfit that i kind of buy is the star shape of his the gun like hole like the idea is like oh that's yeah that feels more incorporated the rest of it's just stars are on him yeah and the second one just doesn't seem like there's i mean it doesn't seem like there's some sort of a Cohesive. I mean, you keep saying that, but I'm just pointing to the shooting star part of like the head. And the fact that I he's kind of alien, he doesn't uh, take away from it. I think Star Man exactly. could could be an it's alien, not, right? Uh, yeah. I I just kind of prefer the first. Sure, but like, are you gonna address those counter arguments or not? Really, <laughs> it's just sort of. Uh, I just don't feel that strongly about it, and I don't think that either of them is really very good at all. So, sure, but you think that the first I one's lean... better? So, yeah, I, I I'm leaning towards the first one. I kind of wish I had a context for them. I think that would make me choose because the one place I could oh. see Starman, not Starman at dot exe now, Starman thriving, is in this like. I don't know, just just like maybe a a, a fair or some kind of thing where he's like a, a mascot or an amusement guy, and he's just trying to make ends meet, and he's like, "I'm the star man. Look at me with all my stars." Yeah, he's and, like the Joker of his world. And he's just, you know, the suit's not great, but that 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 builds toward like the, he he made it all himself. He's just trying, you know. Starman.exe, I could see him fitting into maybe a a game where a bunch of digitalized aliens arrived or something. He's one of them. I wouldn't have much of a problem with him. I'd be like, oh, look at him. There he is. Oh, yeah, I don't really know. It's hard to choose in a neutral manner. But I think I'd have more compliments to the design of Starman.exe, I think. I'm there, too. Yeah, but I don't think either of them are strong. Mm hmm Well, perhaps we'll get more. Who knows? Maybe. Um, this just says, you liar. Um... Arno Chunyagu. 
I, 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 maybe they're addressing someone else. I, I, I just, I just don't know. I don't know either. You have to license each ring individually. You might have to. Maybe. Like, unironically, you might actually have to. I don't know. Golem was an allegory of homeless drug abusers who work in Amazon warehouses. Story grew better than rings of power. There needs to be more grammar in that sentence because I'm confused with the stops. That's a little confused as to that one as well. Um, but yes. Also, play Deus Ex, you massive. Hi, Rag. Hello. Maybe I will. Which one? Which one's the one I should play? The first one or all uh, of them? So, you should play the first one. Uh, I would say that you should play Human Revolution and Mankind Divided. Um, people are a I've, lot more iffy about uh, Invisible War. I'm gonna I've be played invisible. Uh, Human Revolution and I quite liked it. I need to go back and say, finish. So, uh, you you got to play Human Revolution first. You got to play it before Mankind Divided because that game has a lot of like small quality of life improvements to the gameplay that make it harder to go back to Human Revolution. At least from a gameplay perspective. I see. Hola, my name is, again, gay actor Michael Douglas. What's the meme here? What, what's happening? I think um, uh, Michael Douglas is, I think he's just a... Uh, big fan of the show? It might be. I just wanted or to announce. he just really wanted to let us know that he was gay. Which is fine with me. I don't, I don't, I don't care. It's good for you. you. You go nuts, Michael. Yeah, go get those nuts. Um, I'm here to ask a very, very important question. Between Gutsman and Gutsman.exe, who do you like more? Well, well, should I find Gutsman? Uh, yeah, and I'll get, guts, I'll get Gutsman.exe. Like, constantly comparing, like, the characters from Mega Man games. I think this is all from oh, the same account. Uh, okay, you do yours, I'll do mine. Well, there's, there's an older Gutsman and then a newer Gutsman. But they're kind of similar, so we'll just go with kind of the one that matches the first three, the uh, two that we did anyway. Well, that's Guts, man. I think this is going to be, I'm I going to go with the second one, like Gutsman.exe. Yeah, that one's it's just better, yeah. Yeah, I think that, unfortunately for the first Gutsman, that face is a, is a terrible <laughs> blight on the rest of the, uh, on the rest of the design. Uh, it's not that I don't mind it's bubbly and everything like that, really soft edges, but I don't really see what kind of a character they're getting through here. But the second one has this mechanical, uh, sort of brawler look to him. Like, his arms can extend and punch really far. He's a, he's a puncher, he's a fighter. And he just looks really, really industrial and mechanical, like a robot. Uh, and I, and I kinda, I kinda dig it. Maybe I need to know more about these characters and know why they're called Guts Man, but yeah, I prefer the second. Opinions, Ringy. I already said I prefer the second one more. Yeah, and you like, you know. Uh, else. The color scheme for the first one is garish. <laughs> That's what I would say. I know it's too it bright. The the it's, reds and the uh, yellows are too bright. I think the yellows are okay. I think the reds are too bright. Um, it's uh, it's just it looks a bit tacky. The 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 exe one seems way more like thought out. Uh, right. Time to sit back and lock balls, boys. Feel bad that you guys didn't see the, the context for that one, but that's okay. Uh, maybe we could get a Smaug game where it turns out he did leave the mountain before the Hobbit so he could rescue Princess Leia from a clown person. Oh, nice. That'd be neat. Mm. Maybe they'll do it. What do you guys think of the movie Pan's Labyrinth, High Rags? Hello. I have not seen it. I liked it a whole bunch. I haven't seen it in a while, though. I have heard it's neat. I haven't seen it myself. Neat Guillermo del Toro film that has a bunch of really cool special effects in it. Uh, Jump King, but Gandalf. I don't know what to make of that, but all right. Hiya, EFAP. My name is, wait a minute, another gay actor from Michael Douglas? Oh my god. Oh, he's, wow, he is gay. All right, we'll do that one. But a bit. There's loads of them, actually. Okay. Well, we're we gonna have to. We might have to put you on a limit. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, because I don't want to just be comparing like Mega Man characters forever. We did three. It's pretty good. <laughs> three is. Uh, I mean, three is one thing, you know. Yeah. 
Um, all right, well, well, I'll move it around. Uh, good morning to all and hail. Good morning. Hey. How you doing? Hey. EFAP on a Tuesday? What bizarro world is this? The only time and date we could get all the peeps for. And, uh, probably would need to have Jay Longbone too, but we were unable to get her as well. Uh, I think it would have thrown out the entire thing, so, uh, in terms of, like, that was the one slot we had, and it was when Americans, uh, Fast asleep, except rags. Yep. Uh, been, no. Yeah. Oh my gosh, was that a mother freaking forespoken reference? Wow, that wow. just happened. Yep. Huh. <laughs> I just played Gollum well, was... with my freaking hands. It's kind of uh, crazy that, like, a meme video, or no, it wasn't a meme video, it became a meme, that, like, a little promo video on Twitter, like, totally derailed that game. It, it did. That's probably the most damage a little clip has ever done for a video game. I think so. Uh, it's it's kind of crazy. It derailed the game. That studio was shut down and folded into Square Enix. Uh, the, there's no way they're making another one. Like it's it's yeah. And I think it uh because that 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 was the uh, studio that made the proprietary engine that they'd been using for like Final Fantasy games for a while. I don't think they're going to be using that anymore either. So mm. yeah, it's just it's all it's all finished. It's all ogre now. Because of uh, a really bad dialogue in mm -hmm. a clip for a video game. Hey, listen, what I've learned about video games is that your characters having really bad, cringy dialogue can kill the rest of the game. Uh, I That's think what it's, happened uh... with Wolfenstein, uh, the uh, Youngblood. That game was a fine game, and it actually looked really good. But the characters that you played as were horrific cringe. And they were such a a, a a big part of the experience was dealing with those two characters, those two sisters, that it just it's like it was like this slimy coating over the entirety of the experience, um, and it really put people off from the get go because of how just cringe it was to hear them talking back and forth all the time. So you're on a risk when you have your video yeah. game characters talk. Um, if what they have to say <laughs> is interesting, yes. No, you really do though. You do, like, yes. It's like when if, your characters if, talk, you're you're risking it. Well, it's just an understanding that unlike with something like films where everybody's there to see the story play out, not everybody who picks up a game that has a story is necessarily as interested in engaging with that story as they are with the gameplay. And if the characters talk and they have something interesting to say, then you'll be okay. But it's kind of up to the writer to determine how interesting their dialogue really is, you yeah. know? You can be very, yeah, distracting and uh, even, it can even go further than that sometimes. But, well, and if the yeah, audio, it, you know, the lines repeat, like if you don't record enough lines and then the dialogue repeats, that's really fucking annoying. Gun rhymes with um, fun for a reason, stranger. Well, wow. in the case of uh, in the case of the merchant, he uh, he he was each line was so wonderful that it's okay if he repeats lines. <laughs> but generally, it's pretty annoying when the characters repeat the same line over and over and over again. Yeah. Uh, hi, Rags. Hello. Whistles. Oh, hey, it's Efap. My name is Gay Actor. Another one. Wow, you got me there with the 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 whistling part. My god. At Metal, let's hope they put our tax money to good use. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> it was... Like, if, if the studio makes another game, they can't release something like this, right? <laughs> like, that's, that's gotta be unacceptable. Even if they release something really good second, I feel like this one is still gonna have a big ol' hit on them. Like, it, of course. Like, no one's forgetting they made this. Yep. But Probably they could get not. themselves a redemption story, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe. I doubt it. It was inevitable. I don't know what they're referring to, but yes. Uh, big thanks to all of you for providing some of the best entertainment I've had the pleasure of consuming in the last couple of years. He is hoping you'll stream their next release. Yep, I think we're all on board with that. Uh, there's, there's just, it's too fascinating to watch how something like that can be created. It's like, and then charge that much for it. It's just absurd. How does that even happen? We're supposed to have systems in place that prevent that. Oh well. Um, it's 7 in the morning, shift just started, and what do I find? A group of Tuesday morning massives. Glad to be here, lads. 
Oh, glad George, you're, glad you're here as well. Thanks for showing up. Gollum greater than Ragnarok solely because of Az's face. It does give you an emotional experience of a kind. Very unique one. Definitely of a kind. Hey, Fringle. My name is Gay Actor. Wow. It's another one. Wow. Look He's at him go. So He's a, this is a real Gollum fan. Oh, this is a different question, though. It says, as a black nerd, do you wear leather jackets in the summertime? No. I mean, that would be way too fucking hot for me. Yeah. That would, that, that sounds like hot it pretty, in Australia. pretty hot. Speaking of games, Starship Troopers Extraction has 16-player co-op, EFAP Gaming. Uh, as I said, it's pretty fun. I heard uh, it's pretty good. You know, if maybe one of us goes and gives it a test, uh, we'll have a little look-see. Um, lock balls, naturally. Over the years, I've come to love this unruly clown world of ours. We do get some fun surprises and then some daunting ones, but you know, yeah, I like the fun ones when they come up. Surprise EFAP chat won the argument. We can talk candidly now. My precious balls are locked. When is breeding time? Also, thank <laughs> you to my Ukrainian friends. They spelt that wrong. I don't think that wasn't in the videos. Uh, at the end, it oh, says man. thank you to our Ukrainian like staff who, you know, d developed this game despite being in a war or whatever. But they spelt Ukrainian wrong. Really? That game come it. Really? I can believe that game was yeah. made during a war. I think it's it's just it's just infinitely embarrassing to spell the fucking word wrong when you're trying to <laughs> thank them. It's like oh yeah, that, that's crazy. I don't jeez. Uh, Sins won the argument. Yeah, the Sins wins. wins but uh, who knows who will, one, yeah. who will win but next argument? Like? Yeah. That's a good movie. Also, watching all of you guys play this game was a truly an amazing amount of fun. Thanks, Wombos, and go to Trungos. Of course. Uh, thanks for watching. A precious shilling for the Golem meter. Now it's, the sure it's meter. charged What up. does the Golem meter measure? Um... How much Gollum something is? How much? It's like, is Gollum, it's like like it's like that. So Raven. I guess I'm. What is the unit of measurement like that Gollum represents? You know, like what is it? What does it measure, and how big or small is it relative to other more known units of measurement? Mm. I think it's intuitive, isn't it? Uh well, sure, but like not everybody has intuition, <laughs> I guess. And they're the ones <laughs> that get filtered out. They're not ready for the Gollum meter. Mm -hmm. Returning fan whose wife watched Lord of the Rings, huge success, and she's playing the Halo campaign with me now. Can you find gents help me convince her to watch Arcane after? She's scared it's anime-ish. Um, um, don't worry, it's I don't, normal. I don't, I, don't know what it means. <laughs> I don't even know what anime-ish means, but Arcane is really great. You just gotta get her to agree to the early. first three. As long as she agrees to the first three, yeah. and then you can say you can bow out if you want, but if she watches the first three and goes, uh, nah, then, then divorce. You know? it's, I, I, I understand her, her fear of <laughs> things that are like anime, but it's not like anime. All the things that you hate anime for, this doesn't have it really. It's like I don't, a I don't good know what anime. It means it's like anime. I just don't understand what that means. Probably referring to the worst of anime tropes, but annoying, uh, super annoying uh, characters, uh, very on the nose, super direct dialogue meant for children, uh, lazy art style. Come at me! Oh wow! Oh, Come my at God. me! Yeah, this is. Uh, I'm not involved in this. This is. <laughs> I would go for lazy animation before lazy art styles with a lot of anime. Yeah, I, I yes, yes, I will amend that to say lazy. Uh, yeah. But yeah, everything that, you know, the things that would make you cringe and everything about anime, for which there's a great deal. It's not an arcane. Arcane is well above that. Arcane's animation never... is so good. I can't wait to see season two just for the expressions. Absolutely. Well, I would never sully the like. reputation of arcane by implying it was an anime. Rack, say something nice about anime now. You know, anime is great because it brings so many people together who otherwise wouldn't have social groups or friends to hang out with. Damn it. Say another oh nice my thing. God. What you know what? Anime is an excellent way for companies to make money, and it adds to the economy, and it helps keep this wonderful civilization going. One more nice thing to make three. Anime, once, I saw anime on the street one time, and he said that he really liked my eyebrows. And I said, thanks, anime. You are a kind person for saying that. I think that one makes any sense, but, you know, because I don't know if anime is a person, but I'll buy it. Uh, you wouldn't lie to me. 
I wouldn't lie to you. A Lord of the Rings game could be cool. I recently read The Silmarillion and there's a lot of cool and interesting stories. What a waste. The best Lord of the Rings game is Lego Lord of the Rings. Also play Little Nightmares. Hi, Rex. Hello. I mean, uh, yeah, there's shit tons of Lord of the Rings games. I never played Shadow of Mordor, but I know people like that, right? Yeah, I hear good things about Shadow of Mordor. I hear it's pretty neat. Hmm. I don't I never played War in the North. That was a, a Xbox generation one, right? I think. I've maybe? heard of that one. That was like a co-op game, was it? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I just know oh, there was a war in the north, and that game is about it, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's pretty to the point on that front. I'm very intuitive about those sorts of things. I can just detect that about the title alone. Uh, Hail! What a nice surprise on a Tuesday morning. Yes. Yeah. Well, rather. Well. How about a Mandalorian bounty hunter video game? You could, um, they won't. I don't want to play I mean, as a Mandalorian. Well, I mean, that was, that was what Star Wars 13, 13 was going to be before it got uh, cancelled. The thing is, if they made a Mandalorian game, no one would want them to make it so that you play as actually Mando. No, Not no. really. Like, some people would be like, yeah, Mando, and they get bored after an hour. Like, no, you want to play as your own thing. Play, uh, what, like your own Mando that you can customize? And, yeah, just like, loads of dialogue of options, things. loads of missions you can take, and they all determine what kind of person you are. The longer you go, give them a multiple ending game, whatever. Just just a normal That's game. Make a game. Would, but the thing is now, if you pitch me like any kind of Star Wars game right now, it, it's, I, I don't know, it doesn't really do anything for me. What about those lightsabers and uh, blasters? Well, I feel Ooh. like people really stop talking about that new Star Wars Jedi game pretty quick. Yeah, no one talks about that shit. Well, Al Kestis. Cool, I think. I've heard. Lord of Ring Golem equals Log? <laughs> yeah. Say that for short. You guys play Log? I'm a Lorger. Hell yeah, I'm a Lorger. Are you a real Lorg fan? Any real Lorg fans in chat? Hey all, Mola, can we speak candidly now? Would you mind if I drowned the creature Rags in the river? Bye, Rags. Jeez. Oh my goodness gracious. That would be difficult because I'm an excellent swimmer. And then they say, also high Fringled, also high Ragses. Hello. What an odd super chit. That is an odd super chit. Do you think a movie CSB get a higher objective score after a sequel comes out? Uh, no, because that that would like so to give an example. Um, uh, does TFA improve as a film if TLJ was really good? It's like, well, technically, no. It shouldn't get credit for. How well, a setup is paid off, it should get credit for how good the setups are. Yep, I think that's probably... It seems like doing trying to do it any other way is just going to lead to a lot of confusion and uh, inconsistencies. Yeah. Uh, and, and of course, it all, you know, it's like, how do we account for stories that had, that were potentially going to get sequels, they didn't. And then, I don't know, the writer says, like, well, this is what I was going to do, right? You is know, that, like, fix kind of an amazing example of this is um, TLJ, when it's on its own, has the huge kamikaze problem, and then and it makes it an enormous hole, and then Rise of Skywalker says, "No, no, no! It's an enormous contrivance. It's a, <laughs> it's really <laughs> unlikely, not impossible." And so, I don't even know what to do with you know what I mean. It's like, does that make TLJ better? It's like, well, no, it's still a hole in TLJ. Them saying it's it's a contrivance doesn't change anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. They never explained how it would be a contrive. Like, how is it one in a million? I don't know. Well, it's because you gotta just try and run away from it. Like, you can't can't deal with that. There's like, another thing. A... TLJ fans say that like Rise of Skywalker. What they said that doesn't even make sense. It wasn't one in a million. It was like a guaranteed hit. It's like, okay. <laughs> I mean, it should be a guaranteed either, hit. Either way, but... it's a disaster. Um, mm -hmm. And it's it's TLJ's fault that one. <laughs> like, yeah. Your only, your only choice as a writer is, really, you probably only real choice was that one in a million line, even though it's a shit answer. That is one of the most <laughs> difficult things to ever repair as a writer, is the hyperspace kamikaze. Yeah. What in the world can you do? It, it was all in a, a huge thing that everyone imagined. It didn't actually happen. That's just, you just yeah, thought it, it did. Just, uh, uh -huh. Trick of the light. Would you rather, one, play Lord of Ring Golem again once or two play the last of us two again but three times but uh, it's gonna be golem that'll be way quicker well golem shorter right yeah 
Well, well three, yeah, probably... watch every Phase 4 and 5 movie again. I... Again, still going like to go Gollum phase, with yeah. Gollum, yeah, I yeah. think the time component needs to be, you know, The Last of Us is like deal. 20 hours. Dude, like, check out that's Option what? 4. Watch Lord of the Rings Trilogy Extended Editions, but you can never watch them again. Fuck that. Oh, fuck uh, that. No, I'll never do so, that. Yeah, that's not a real... It's, it's yeah, I'll just play Gollum, Gollum again. I haven't even played Gollum. I'll Especially play if I can Gollum. stream it, and I'll tell everybody I was forced to. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm going Gollum, Gollum hard mode. I, I'd probably actually try and find all the collectibles in that run. Like, get a guide I find or that, something. That question interesting because it, it's like, I see what you were going for, but that time component, man, like, The Last of Us 2 it's is like really hours important. Long. Yeah. If I got to play Why would you have said times, three times on The Last life. of Us 2? Holy fuck. If you said play it once, I might play it. Yeah, I'd probably the choose The Last of Us 2. Um, cause it's, it, I've forgotten it more. <laughs> but then it, that's actually a more interesting one because I know that game depresses and annoys me while Gollum, uh, like, it annoys me, but I'm amused as well, right? I'm like shouting at mm. it with it, whatever. But The Last of Us 2, I have to like remember all the shit they did. Like, you know, maybe I should. Uh, what the fuck is this? EFAP on a Tuesday? I don't think so. Well, it happened. Oh, well, it did happen, so you think so wrong. Yeah. Uh, imagine if we were able to play a VR version of Gollum. <laughs> Crawling oh, around on the floor. Like, yeah. VR. You have to do, yeah, like the Benedict Cumberbatch. You have to yeah. Around, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And crawl around. You gotta commit to the role. Yes. And you, including arguing with yourself, you know, when you're doing those. I can't. What kind of mechanic is that? You are making the Gollum decision, so you need to commit <laughs> Smeagol to do this. The fuck is that? They did that both ways. It was really funny. Just uh, <laughs> depending on whatever you chose. There was, uh, as anybody would say, there was the nuts and bolts of something in there. They didn't do it very right. well, though. <laughs> there was the nuts and bolts of something in there. Uh, who needed this? Who thought this game was a good idea? <laughs> Somebody thought they could no make money did. off it. No one thought it was good. Not even the people who made it. They knew no. what they were doing. They must have played a video game before, and thus they, thus, thus they know. Um, eyes are not marbles. They're weird grapes. Hi, Rag. Hi. They are kind of weird. And weird grapes. That's a classic. I was sure Marty O'Donnell composed Gollum, but after hearing it, I had to confirm it was actually a different game called Golem. Existential crisis oh. averted. Ah, yeah. <laughs> You're okay. Uh, roughly three hours into the new Amnesia and I'm having a blast so far. It seems that Frictional have not opted to repeat the mistake of Afterbirth. Looking forward to watching the German play it. Yeah, I spoke to Metal. Um, it's, it sounds like it's a game. It's not like, uh, they've, they've, they've created a game first. They haven't got some other goal in mind first. Everything else came after, right? So, like, mechanically they've got, uh, you know, to change it up from other Amnesias, you've got a device that you have to charge to create light and it'll run out relatively quickly like a minute and a half i think you get and obviously charging it creates noise and that that will attract whatever creature slash creatures maybe around it's like already that sounds like a good system to try and balance i understand i think you have a gun with limited bullets that does like stagger um instead of killing and and you're locked in a bunker and you have to you know go to place a to get a key for place b to get a thing that goes back to a to refuel to go to c to blah 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 until you finally unlock the big entrance it's like oh okay. that just that just sounds like a, a game that's nice that they made a game uh so far i think even with how much metal said he'd played he didn't really know exactly what the story was doing in terms of connecting to the wider universe or if they're going to do that at all calling it amnesia i think you just got knocked on the head and that's why you have amnesia in that or something Okay. So it to me is already coming across as just a safer game that they've made compared to Soma being a you know a completely different thing and then uh, Afterbirth which I prefer to call it that uh being some yeah whatever that was. So um yeah as long as Metal by the end of it says it was a good experience I'll play it for Halloween or something but not now. Yeah, I would really like to have, you know, that company doing okay. I'd like them to make games that are really make good again. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be great. Because remember, they made Soma. They made all that stuff. Back to the scent. And Machine for, Like, if we got another Machine right. for Pigs, I'd be happy. I just don't want to get whatever the hell Afterbirth was ever again. Um, this stream is the therapy session, mutually mutal and as deserved. And we got it. And we're healthier for it. 
What had the better soundtrack, Gollum or Batwoman? Probably Gollum. Probably Gollum. Yeah. I, I haven't really listened to it on its own to give it a better judgment, but yeah, it's got to be Gollum. Surely. The Jack Murphy DLC for Cuck Simulator was better value. Is there an actual Cuck Simulator on Steam? I'd imagine there probably is. Uh, it sounds like something someone would have made. Cuck Simulator. Why did Mola do this out of all the games? Was it for Gary, or was Mola just a masochist who plays... Uh, just play Bunker, Morley, and Soma, Fringold? Well... I'll, I'll get around to it eventually. Yeah, we'll both get around to it. Um, I, I played Gollum because I have morbid curiosity. I had to know. Mordor... Uh, no. Uh, it's, no, it's not quite there. But good effort. At Mauler. I'm 65 and I've never played a video game, but this is pure entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that this is what, you. whenever the kids talk about the Fortnite and whatnot, this is what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're all like this. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> this was voice Nothing acted by Randy Circus. Do they mean Andy Circus? Randy Circus? Like some guy. They've spelt it. Circus, like, Clown Circus as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he was Randy Circus. Randy Circus. I like it. Drinker thanked Metal for the fact that he had a good visit to Berlin, despite Metal having nothing to do with it. Does this mean the same logic applies that Gollum is Metal's fault? Yes. Yeah, Metal's taken responsibility yeah. for it. He has been... He is being thoroughly disciplined. And, uh, you know, he's already he's apologized ahead of time for the next one, but what can you do? It's on the way. Uh, I know it's midnight there, but pretty sure Fringled is asleep. Um, no, it wasn't quite. <laughs> I think he definitely... was enamored with the golems. It was, it was a fascinating game, that's for sure. Um, if you had the same game but the dialogue was excellent throughout, what would it be out of ten? If the... But the dialogue was excellent throughout? Should we just cut to the, if the story was amazing but it was that level of mechanics? Oh, it get a bit of credit, but honestly, I think the I highest it could get to is like a four. Do you think it could get that high? If the story was incredible, like the best we'd ever come across. Oh, um, I'm not sure. I don't know. It's um, I as a general rule of thumb, I'd say like I don't know a, a game with if the gameplay is like really, really, really bad. That, like, can get in the way big time. I almost think that, like, a three is the highest you can get. Because the gameplay in Gollum looked, like, fucking atrocious. I, was, I don't know what I would was. say for, like, a, a number score. I don't think I could, like... It bordered on Broken. Which feels uh, like it might just surpass, like... Like, that's got to affect the ability to consume the story and the... It's like, it's... Uh, it's more foundational when it's a video game, isn't it? The, if the if the mechanics are busted, yeah, it's just it's almost like, like the, you the game. You know, you have to play it. The DVD was like scratched and it was jumping all over the place while trying to like that's got to factor in if you were reviewing the DVD, of course, not the the film, so to speak. Um, yeah, that's not. Uh, we need to find an example. I don't know that one exists where they took immense passion and execution in a story and then the game was made by someone who doesn't know how to make games like it's not impossible it's just you know hard to say uh what we would rate something like that yeah yeah but i would i'd wager it's not high the suffering here brings me joy oh yo special tuesday efap during finals thanks mubes no problem hope you had fun uh, my husband was being a cave troll. He got the new Street Fighter game and tricked me into thinking he got the Gollum game. Now I have trust wow. issues. Ah. Bastard. Because we'd read uh, before that the, 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 this was the, the wife that the husband was saying he was going to make her play Gollum, but... Hey, that's a good <laughs> troll. That's the kind of you troll know, this you sounds want. Like a, this sounds like a healthy marriage. Mm -hmm. It'll last a long time. Things will be great. But this is so. This is the truth. It ends with I kind of wish he did get it, so I could watch him suffer. It's like there you go. You wanted there gold. We go. <laughs> That's the solid foundation any relationship is built off of. Making people suffer with Gollum. In this case, making people suffer without getting Gollum. It's like oh or my without goodness. it. In this case, yeah. 
Project 06 may now be a 7 out of 10. No exaggeration. Does it mean Sonic Project 06? Project 06? Oh, Sonic 06. They said it Project... Be a but... seven... They said 7 out of 10? Sorry? Yeah, which, no. That can't be, <laughs> no. That can't be true. I've no, never played no, Sonic. That can't be true. That Sonic 06 really could broken. be rated worse than Gollum, because at least Gollum, you rarely will ever get stuck. But, like, I, I watched uh, Game Gums play... Game Grumps, sorry, not Gums. <laughs> Game Grumps play uh, mm -hmm. Sonic 06 and they got confused a lot of time. To, they had to consult their fucking walkthrough to, to figure out where they were supposed to go and shit. Uh -huh. um, yeah. That's one to consider like playing like if Metal came over it, but I just don't know if it would be funny or if it would be pain. It's hard to say. Um, uh, uh, that of... one's a complicated one because there's like, there's a lot of aspects to that game that make it really <laughs> painful. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of my least favorite elements of like a get like when it comes to game frustration is not knowing where to go and not even not not even getting lost sometimes i kind of enjoy getting lost in a game because it's not often that you could really kind of be like oh wow where am i where do i need to go you know it's like you're like you really don't know where you are and you're trying to put it all together i'm talking about like what am i supposed to do you feel you've searched where, everything where, where you've pressed every button you've talked to every person yeah, just like there's nothing that shit like, great. sucks so much in a game uh, maybe what they need is a Gollum city builder sim. Yeah. Could work. You got, like, loads of worms and cockroaches and maybe some birds once you get to the late game. You can have little, like, mud huts and, uh, little, uh, anthills or whatever. That's your little city as Gollum. Make sure the trains run on time and, yeah, you, you know, that could be a real interesting sort Say, of thing. Yeah. Say what you want about Gollum, but Gollum made the trains run on time. I've snatched victory out of the jaws of victory. That is a rags Rude. quote. Very. Is Metal going to play the new Amnesia? Know. Also unrelated, but the quarry, supermassive, base price is 110 Australian dollars. What? The quarry? That's something that me and Metal said we would play, but he, we might do the next time he's oh, over. Oh, that's the, that's the new not game game thing, isn't it's it? It's like mm -hmm. until dawn, Not basically. game game. I doubt it'll be worse than Little Hope, but you never Little know. Little Hope was fucking abysmal. That was really stretching what a game is. Mm hmm <laughs> So gear up for 22 Super Chats, I guess? I'm not sure what they mean by that. But um, we might stream that at some point, maybe. And Metal has streamed the new Amnesia, yes. In fact, he's probably streaming... Oh no, he's gone. So you won't see another one from him for another week, I think? I can't remember exactly what his availability is, but... Who knows what that'll mean by the time this is out. Uh, he might be back by the time this is out, actually. That makes sense. Maybe. Um, we really have a whole world of untapped Gollum potential, including a Gollum TV show that is just Gollum in the modern world running a TV show. A talk show? Oh, that would be really cool. Gollum in the modern world. And he's he's having guests on, he's just talking about what they're interested in. Oh, the, the Tonight Show with Gollum. And uh, every once in a while, you know, Gollum comes, well, Smeagol comes in with, like, an innocent question, but Gollum comes in with a harsher one that you know, we've all been looking for the answer for. We're like, come on, ask him about the the budget, the 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 thing on the thing. Ask him if they thought their film was shit. You know, just stuff like that. It'd be great. Yeah. Gollum is twenty hours. Want to know what's about twenty hours and much better? Chrono Trigger. I've heard right. many many good things about Chrono Trigger. It's kind of withstood the test of time. It has a very good reputation. Yeah. Mods for this game. I'm gay actor Michael Douglas. I don't know if there are mods for it yet. Probably are, but uh, I mean, it's cool that Michael Douglas, uh, gay actor Michael Douglas, cares about that. Yeah, that's very good. I like that. Uh, Y'all seen the Riddick trilogy? Good for EFAP movies. I've seen Pitch Black and Chronicles of Riddick. I've not seen the final movie. I'm pretty sure I've seen all three, but I've forgotten the latter two more than I have Pitch Black. I've seen the first two, didn't see the third one, and I don't remember them well at all. Hmm, there you go. Uh, uh, Sonic's worst enemy is Sonic Team's lack of talent. Oof. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, oh. I don't know. It's, uh, it's... I, people, people get angry when you say it, but, like, it's just true. The Sonic struggled when it entered 3D. It did. It just has. And there's no oh, reason right. that it had to. Um... It's, I would, yeah, it's, uh, I, I imagine that it's tougher to translate what Sonic was offering in 2D to 3D, you know, um, 
Well, the problem is, is like Mario Super Mario sixty four is the product of like they spent a year just making Mario fun to control. Um, like I, it's almost it's almost like in retrospect they spent a you minute making make... Gollum fun to control. Well, I guess it's on um on Mario. It almost you look back and it's like yeah, Mario obviously translated well to three D. It's like dude, Super Mario sixty four like that wasn't like that was a that was like really revolutionary, you know, <laughs> and it wasn't easy. Um, and I don't know, like, uh, it just, Sonic, um, <laughs> the reality is the Sonic games I like, the vast majority of them are the 2D ones. <laughs> there are very few of the ones that came out, like, since the turn of the millennium that I like. Wow. And I don't know if it's, uh, well, the people enjoyed Sonic Frontiers a bit, right? People yes. seem to have, sort of enjoy it, for whatever that's worth. So but also that, that game did not really look like it was complete. <laughs> not not in the same way as, like, super broken or anything. It just doesn't look like... It really did have that vibe of, like, a sort of a... Emptiness. Unity project. Like a... Like a sort of... A bunch of these assets that feel like they're not really congruent. Like, that they don't really form a cohesive vision. But I could be wrong. I haven't played it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's just a bunch of thoughts on Sonic the Hedgehog as a franchise. That's why they're here, Fringy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As Muller and Metal have survived something that very few have survived. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. Congrats. We happy few, that was a great game, right? It was, yeah. Congrats on remaining sane-ish. Thank you. Mm, well, I mean, I guess... It remains to be seen, right? Yeah, we'll see the damage as time goes on. Could be that behind that mask, it's tears mm -hmm. perpetually screaming. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Metal. He would say hi. Uh, I think the shadowy stealth golem with glowing green eyes is supposed to be a reference to how he's described in the books when he's in darkness. I'm sure it is. Sure well, it is. in the Lord of the Rings movies, when he's in darkness, his eyes kind of give off that like that cat's eye glint, like when you an animal in the headlights. There's a thing the called execution, glow. and they did yeah. not nail it. <laughs> they should have just they should have just done something easy that looked better and made him like translucent, where he gets like a kind of see through a bit. You know what's crazy? The clips from Shadow of Mordor that were thrown into that compilation, it like sort of jolted me into remembering, like, oh yeah, Gollum can be like threatening and scary. Creepy. Have you seen? Yeah, like like in in the in in the Hobbit, an unexpected journey. There's the scene where Bilbo and Gollum have their meeting, and Gollum is legitimately like he comes across as this little psycho that will kill you. He's like unstable and threatening, um, because he's just kind of willing to do anything, uh, especially when you realize he doesn't have his crack ring. Um, and that's the thing. It's, I got I I almost got convinced that wasn't the case thanks to playing so much of that game. Like he's this goofy little gooba running around going like, nee, oh, oh, yeah. Like, uh, no, man. It's a bit weird. But hey, uh, I'm sure they'll do it better next time. Uh, pair character flying in the air with a red cape and a smile on his face. All right. Uh, was stuck in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic on the way to work this morning. Thankfully, I had this to listen to. You suffered so that I had joy. Thanks, Mo. Oh, that yeah. works out. Good job. Good. Thanks. Thanks for kind suffering a, for us. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Just like stuck at work. Like, oh, I'm gonna be late for work. Well, what's on the radio? Except it's you know what's on the YouTube's, and then you watch Gollum <laughs> live stream. People laughing at other Just people playing the game. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, why not? Feels like the devs lost the files of the finished game and decided to release the prototype version. It would be neat to know what the whole process was and whether or not they just they just decided not to make like not to care because it feels like almost impossible to have made a game that shit with the amount of time they had. So something else must have happened. Someone wrong. Hello, one last time. This EFAP from yours truly, gay actor Michael Douglas. Oh, it's another gay actor Michael oh, there Douglas. There he is. Hello, gay actor Michael Douglas. So, we've got a grand total of many gay actor Michael Douglases who are asking for coverage of Metools from Mega Man, uh, Aquaman versus Aquaman.exe, I assume it's another one, 
got Napalm Man versus Napalm Man dot exe. Uh, someone's asking for the assessment of a Yu-Gi-Oh card, which I think is a separate thing. So we'll probably drop on that one. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm fine with uh, you know, the man covering the stuff versus like that. just. Searchman.exe for another one of the Gay Michael Douglas. Gay Michael Douglas has been sending in so many. He's just so yeah, curious. Man, he's a he's a golem. He's a golem enjoy a Chad golem enjoyer. We did three of yours, Mr. Gay Michael Douglas. All right. And the, the, you don't the mind little... doing them, just only let's moderate. I don't want to. Wow, well, it's just. <laughs> I want to do like sixteen, just yeah. comparing Mega we're, Man characters. I I don't mind doing it, but again. Moderation. I appreciate you, gay Michael Douglas. I just wanted to say that. Okay? We do, yes. We like the variety. It's it's one thing to say uh, uh, these two characters or this Yu-Gi-Oh card or whatever. You know, that's one thing. Uh, finally caught a live EFAP. Been catching up on the early streams of the Toxic Brood. Thanks for the last love, all of you massives. Well, thank you very much. Hope you're enjoying. Yeah, thanks very much. We're um, we're we're friends. Got some. We're friendly. Lock balls emojis. Nice. Lock balls emojis. Yep, usually never get to see these. It was a good time, amigos. Glad you enjoyed. So, straight into Amnesia Bunker next. Halloween, I'll do that, alright? Halloween. But Metal's been playing it, and you can check that out if you wish. There isn't a Candleman.exe yet. Hi, I'm gay actor Michael Douglas. He's still there. Hello. He's still Look gay. Um, at Theo, did Maldi let you know that the finger bitten elf sounds like you? The finger bitten elf. Um, oh, that might have been the case. I think people were making jokes about that in chat, but I, I was just distracted with other stuff. I'm afraid, but yeah, maybe Theo did some voice acting. Who knows? Um, hi, rags off, Fringy Hello. off, and Mola off. Hello. We are on. Bringy, could you please read out some Jar Jar lines in your best Jar Jar voice? Have a great day. Oh, yes. Now, this is a quality super chat. More of these. Uh, all right. Well, so, wait, so what's, the, what's the line? They're asking you to just, with, with your preference, whatever line you want. Ooh, you I, get the pick dude, of the you letter. Can't, you can't put me on the spot like that. Like, what's... There's so many classic lines from Jar Jar that... I've That's added. true. Yeah, but it was the probably a that, like, database of Jar Jar lines. That's true, but then when it's like, hey, pick one, it's it's always like, oh no, now yeah. my brain's like, wait, what, yeah, what line? I know what you mean. Um, but pick well. one for me. Well, Mahler, do you, show, maybe we can pick some for him? <laughs> sure, okay. Yeah. Uh, the All classic right, uh, Wisa going home, right? Ah, oh, fucking hell. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Damn, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not in the, uh, I'm not in the headspace for voice acting. <laughs> not in the Jar Jar headspace. <laughs> I'm not in the Jar Jar headspace. Well, here, He's, let's, uh, that's okay. Here's one, right? Like the, we all know this is a classic line. This is a classic Jar Jar line. I remember that scene. I know, right? How could? I, of course, we all do. How could you forget it? Uh, it's funny you say that, because, like, I am not, the, the inflections and everything are just, like, not in my brain right now. Like, they're not. <laughs> it would be a, uh, it would be very unconventional. Because... He's a very unconventional character. Yeah, I wouldn't want to give you a, uh, an example, because it would then taint your, um, your interpretation of the character, you yeah. know? And we just, we assume that your memory works, and you know Jar Jar. You know, I mean, you know, you know Jar Jar. Classic character. Waiting for we all show. know Jar Jar. He's a classic character. He's uh, he's aged like a like a fine milk. <laughs> he mm. has it's uh, aged like uh, a. Do you mean that, or are you being mean? <laughs> no, he's a great character. Well, that's I'm why we all remember him. Think about all the characters that you don't remember. That's right. You can't. It's built see, into the concept right, of the yeah. question. I bet you can't think of any of the characters you've forgotten, but Jar Jar, well. In Jar Jar, there is strength. <laughs> Jar Jar protects. Stop some Jar Jar big quotes. See which yeah. ones. Well, See I gave you one. I think Thrax provided one. a really good one. Yeah, yeah. that's a, that's that's a really good one. That one's a classic. It's just. <laughs> Do it, Fringy. Just... Fear is the mind killer. It's just. Ah. Uh... It's not good, but the, no, I it's I don't remember it. I don't remember the tone. I don't remember the inflections. 
It's not going to okay. be. It's not going to be inspired. Well, treat it like a bit of jazz. You know, you're going to throw some stuff in there that maybe wasn't in there originally, or is is remixed a little, and uh, and get a real sense of what you believe about the character from it. Yeah, put it's your real, spin it's really, on the old classic. When you just read it, it's just like, damn, man, it's just like it's really sort of uh, dense, isn't it? It's kind of hard to. It's like a. It's like a big old. A big old wall of text. Uh, well, <clears throat> meat, meat, <laughs> Misa calls one, two, e little bits of <laughs> accidentes, huh? How, how's that so far? I think it's what's your, what's your note? Excellent. My, my only note you'd is that I'm sad. Oh. You'd say boom, the <laughs> gasser, then crash in the bosses. He. Blooper, them banished. <laughs> there you go. It's like I'm in the movie. Pretty good. It's yeah. like I was in Gungan City. Yeah. It's like I was actually there. You imagine listening yourself to there in the pod, watching all of the, all of the fish and everything in the water. Absolutely. That was. Yeah. That was uncanny. Hmm. Excellent work. Uh, I'm gonna ask y'all to read a Yu-Gi-Oh card and guess whether it's good or not according to the game as it currently is. Your card is wait. So we gotta, gotta read right, it so and then I we guess, guess whether it's any it's any good. Whether okay. it's a good card or not. Okay. So this card Cause, cause is I've called. I've said before, Yu-Gi-Oh has had horrific, horrific power creep over the years. So um, it'll be interesting. This card is called Tardy Orc. Tardy Orc. Let's see. He's a four star, twenty two hundred attack. Zero defense. Um, so. Zero defense. The card cannot attack the turn it is normal summon. Ooh, I can see this going either way. So if you're four star and below, you do not need to tribute summon. So if something is, I think, between five, five and six stars, you, it requires one tribute to summon, so you have to uh, sacrifice a monster to summon it. And I think if it's seven and up, it's two. It's been a long time since I've played the game. So that means that you can just slap this puppy down and you'll have a 2200 attack monster that requires no tribute. However, it uh, essentially is magic rules. Uh, unless it has haste, it cannot attack the same turn it comes down. This card cannot attack the turn it is normal summoned. However, what this does mean is that you can special summon Tardy Orc, and if you do so, whether so if you special summon it, that would be like Monster Reborn, like bringing it in from the graveyard, or a card that specifically allows you to summon it from the deck, or look for something and put it onto the field. I'm gonna say that this card is a good card. Um, because I'm gonna defer to Rags because I have no clue at all. How now? Maybe maybe the reason I say this is because I'm still in the mindset of playing the game when it was good, uh, back kind of in the early days. Because I think the last set I played was Legacy of Darkness. Um, I think that was the last set that I played, and that was a long time ago. Um, so, it, but that, that was back in the days where, like, having strong creatures and actually attacking your opponent and fighting your opponent was a big deal. It's not like 17-card combos that allow you to da 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 da, -da. I, I'm still gonna err on the side of it being good, but I honestly would not be surprised if this card sucked in the current meta. Uh, because it's just, um... It's like a brute force kind of card, and there's so many monster removals and this, that, and the other things that I don't even know if that kind of card has much of a value anymore, which is mm -hmm. a damn shame. What do you think, Fringy? Good or bad? Yeah, what do you think? I, man, like, I don't really know, like, shit about Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> like, I just... I don't... I don't Yu -Oh really... used to be some good shit, man. We'd play really that stuff at, at in elementary school. We we'd bring our cards to lunch and recess and stuff, and we'd play Yu-Gi-Oh. That was a fun game. I like the the backpack that the. Uh... <laughs> it's a funny image, really, isn't it? <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, it's like, well, hey, you can tell it's Yu-Gi-Oh because it has no cohesive design whatsoever. <laughs> Wait for me. Yeah, he's off to school, orc school. Oh, school. school. Off to university, maybe. And he yeah. missed the but bus. Yeah, uh, I, I do like that backpack, actually. It's pretty, pretty swell. He's well, secure no, in his I mean, masculinity. It's, all of his shit's fallen out of it, though. I don't know how good the backpack is. Yeah, well... It might just I be mean, him and his ability to yeah. secure the backpack, you know? That's true. He might not say. have buttoned it up or zipped it. I have to say. Oh, wow. You don't blame your tools, you know? 
Sometimes the tool like can that. be shit, though. Like if you used a, I don't know, a ham to, to hammer in a nail. Well, sure, but that would be, that's a matter of, like, the decisions that you're making, right, as a... The what, if, user. what if the hammer you're using was made in a place where they make things badly and you didn't know, and then it breaks? China? Oh, but we know about China. Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Like, there's something to consider. At that point, you've got to blame the instrument. You know, just, that's that's just out of your control. But make the best of the situation you're in, much like sure. when you're playing Gollum. Uh, which, by the way, that is thus the last message. So. Thank right. you all so much for joining us and uh, for checking out 100%. that wonderful stream. We shall uh, see you in the next EFAPI thing, whatever it might be. But for now, good beep, studio. Yeah, goodbye, everybody. We will see you later. Bye, 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 bye. bye.